The fourth and last of the decision one sorting algorithms is called quicksort. It's quite a bit different from the other three algorithms, but it is quite straightforward. You can see here the step-by-step -step instructions. The first thing we do is we pick a pivot element and we always pick the first item of the list. We then look at all of the items on the list and we place them in the order from left to right that we find them, either to the left of the pivot if they are less than or equal to it or to the right of it if they're greater than. We then end up with the pivot in between two sublists. If a sublist contains only one item, we don't need to do anything more with it. We know that that item must be in the right place, so we leave it alone. Otherwise, we treat each sublist now as a separate list and repeat step one. We use the first item as a pivot and we place the items less than or equal to it to the left and any items greater than it to the right. We continue doing this until all the sublists contain only one item and at that point our list will be sorted. Probably easier to follow with an example. So we start with this list of nine numbers. We use the first number as a pivot. So our pivot number is 13. So the number smaller than the pivot, 9, 12, 3, 7 and 6, all go to the left of it. We can now put our pivot in. We know this is in the right place. We then go through the list again and we write the numbers that are bigger than the pivot, 21, 15, and 14, to the right. That's the end of the first pass of quick sort. We now look at the two sublists and we apply the same procedure. So we use 9 as a pivot for this first sublist, the numbers to the left of the pivot from the first pass. We write down the numbers that are smaller than or equal to it, 3, 7 and 6. then write down the pivot and then write down the numbers bigger. Well, it's only one, isn't it? It's just 12. We then do the same with this list here. We write the numbers smaller than it to the left, 15, 14. And then 21 and there are no other numbers. We can see here that we have a sublist of 1 for the 12, but we have two sublists here with more than one item which still require sorting. So we've now finished our second pass and we now have still two sublists to sort. So the first one pivot will be 3, there's no numbers smaller than or equal to, so we place the 3 first, and then we write down the numbers larger than the 7 and the 6. We then look at the, this sublist here. First number is a pivot, numbers smaller than or equal to first, so that's the 14, and then write the pivot down. And 
that then completes the next pass. That was the third pass, wasn't it? But we still got a sublist of two. So we now need to sort that. Seven's the pivot. Six is smaller. Then write the pivot. And now we're done.